Mike unracks. Mike had been at the works for an overhaul. He was excited, but was longing to get out of the workshop for long. He had his new running boards painted, his his lamp irons, and and had some new cylinders and some wheels painted red. Mike was very happy with his new look, and and he couldn't wait to show the others. The next morning, the fat controller arrived in his car to see how to see how well Mike was was going. I must say the fitters have done a wonderful job, he said. Tomorrow the new engine is coming and your spare parts will be will be coming with him too. What new engine? What new engine? asked Mike. And why is he delivering my parts? Well, said the fat controller, he should be arriving tomorrow, same time as your parts. So you might might have to wait patiently, patiently and be comfortable. Okay, sir, said Mike. Mike was so unsure what the new engine was. He didn't like waiting, but he had to do what the fat controller says. With that, he watched the fat controller climb in his car and drove away for the drove a, drove away for the rest of the afternoon. The next morning, Mike was dozing off. He was enjoying his peaceful sleep when he was rudely awoken by the sound of an engine's whistle. It can't be, can't it? He thought. It's the new engine, isn't it? And indeed it was. Wake up, Mike, said his driver. Look, the new engine has arrived with your spare parts. And he was right. The, and he was right. The new engine... The new engine was green like Henry. At last he arrived with Mike's spa spare parts on a flatbed truck and a brake van. The new engine had the the new engine had the same similar writing on his tender just like Mike's and and he was very smart. Long time no see, Mike, the engine said. Indeed, Rex, said Mike. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Now we shall finally have our fa friendly rival chats again, he said. Just like old times, eh? said Rex. Rex and Mike were happy to be reunited again and were still and were still carrying on with their friendly rival chats when the fat controller arrived. You have arrived right you have arrived right on time, Rex, said the fat controller. Now that you're done giving, giving Mike's new spare parts to the works, he said, you shall now have to do Mike's works until he is meant, until his overhaul is complete. Yes, sir, said Rex. Soon Rex was uncoupled from, from the flatbed truck and the, and the rest of the goods. See you later, Mike, said said Rex, we'll soon chat more, and he puffed away. Days passed, and Rex knew what to do, how to put things right on the fat controller's railway. And he also did his jobs without fuss. All the other engines were beginning to take, to take their liking to Rex. They were very impressed with his... They were very impressed with how enthusiastic he really is. What do you think of our railway, Rex? asked Stanley kindly. I must say it's quite a very fine railway, said Rex. And I must say, them friendly rival chats I have with Mike uh, are just like old times before we left the Allsdale Railway. Well, you might... Well, you might be the greatest besides from him, said Edward. I think he's taken a good liking to you. I guess so, said Rex. Besides, he said, but before he could say anything, the fat controller came to see him. You have been doing well, Rex, he said. I'm very proud of you. Tomorrow, Mike will be coming will be coming back from the works for his overhaul. 
So there's a slight chance you could work with him again. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, said Rex. That's a good engine, said the fat controller. Now I shall leave you all to your rest. And he walked away, leaving, leaving the cheerful green Osdale railway engine to smile. The next day, after Mike returned from the works from his overhaul, the fat controller had, an Im had some important news to tell the two engines. Gordon will be taking me to the, ma to the mainland for a meeting, he said, so I would, like it I would like the two of you to take the express while he and I are away. Yes, sir, said Rex, but be careful. The hills are slippery, and one of you might have to might have to be the back engine. Mike and Rex knew that this was going to be tough, so they had to agree. So they had to agree. I'll be the back engine, said Rex, and Mike, you can take the express. Thanks, said Mike. I'll, I can get all the help I need, he said. Very good, said the fat controller, and walked off immediately to and walked off immediately to take his trip with Gordon. Moments after, Rex shunted the express and buffered the coaches up to Mike. The two were coupled between the express coaches. The guard blew his whistle and the two were off. Soon they began puffing around puffing around the countryside. This is fun, said Mike. Soon he began to go faster. But Rex was getting dizzy. Slow down, Mike, he said. You're going to crash. Who cares, said Mike. But then, there was trouble. They went through the bumpy track, through the lower station. Then, Mike was beginning to go up the hill. Unfortunately, he had left Rex behind without being reinsured. Then Mike began to make for the climb. Then, as he was going halfway up the hill, there was trouble. The heavy track, the heavy coaches were pulling Mike backwards. Mike began, Mike began to pull harder, but it was no good. I can't do it! I can't do it! He cried. He tried and tried, but it was no good. Before he knew it, there was a loud bang, and Mike stopped. His driver and fireman got out to, got out to see what, what the noise was. You've burst your safety valve, he said. Now Rex will have to Now Rex will have to push. Soon Rex overheard and finally he went up the hill. Then he stopped to see what the matter was. Burst your safety valve out, have you, Mike? he said. I have, said Mike. Sorry if I was going too fast. I'll be careful next time. Very good, said Rex. I'll help this time. Then he buffered up, and together, the two were making up for lost time. Then Rex pushed and pushed as hard as he could. At last, Mike was up the hill. Thank you, Rex, said Mike. You're welcome, shouted Rex, and together the two made it to the top of the hill till the end. After his safety valve was was mended at the works, Mike came back to the sheds that night with all of the other engines and the fat controller waiting for him. You two have done well, he said to Rex and Mike. Without, without you two, the passengers would say this is a bad railway, he said, which I wouldn't like the most, 
he said. I think you two will deserve some rest, he said. Thank you, sir, said Rex and Mike. And the fat controller couldn't agree more. You two look like you have known each other, said Thomas. Since when did you meet? Then Rex and Mike chuckled. We've met before, said they both said, and we've known each other for a long time since. We became friendly friendly rivals, interrupted Rex. Then all the other engines laughed, especially Rex. Especially Rex and Mike.